When, when people think of the Holocaust, they think of uh, gas chambers. Uh, the difference with Babinyar is that in September 28th, and, uh, 29th and 30th, 1941, uh, what happened to the victims there was uh, execution by bullets. Uh, 33,771 Jews in two days were exterminated, uh, shot by bullets. And this is what is different about uh, Babinyar than the other uh, sites where the Holocaust occurred. And uh, not only the Jews, but also we have about 65,000 other victims um, of Ukrainian nationality, Romas, Gypsies. Uh, uh, Roma's um, uh, Soviet prisoners of war, uh, patients from the local psychiatric hospital, which still exists to this day, were taken and uh, basically shot uh, in the ravines of Babinyar. So this story is a story that is unique and different uh, than the, the conventional wisdom, if you will, of the Holocaust throughout Europe. Uh, I also would like to add that uh, if, you, if you look at the, the 100,000 that suffered uh, in Babinyar, uh, if you look at the, the population of Kiev in, uh, in 1941, it was 305,000 people. So we're talking one-third of the population was basically killed in those, in those ravines uh, over a course of two years. So it really is, the brink of, uh, it is uh, on the brink of humanity, uh, and it deserves uh, the memorialization, uh, the uh, the research and um, and uh, in memory uh, commemorating uh, those people and those victims uh, that uh, that that died there. And how would you describe the situation in Ukraine today? Uh, is there still a Jewish population there, and is there a problem of anti-Semitism? Uh, the Jewish population of uh, Ukraine uh, numbers about 340,000 um, people, according to, to various, uh, according to the European Jewish uh, Center. Uh, the majority of live uh, in Kyiv, 110,000, 60,000 in the city of uh, Dnipr, and then uh, in Odessa, another 50,000. So it's, it's quite a vibrant uh, community and one that uh, has been there for, for hundreds of years, quite frankly. And uh, there's a number of community uh, centers, synagogues, and, um, and large, uh, large community centers. Uh, the issue of anti-Semitism, uh, of course, it's a historic issue. And given Ukraine's history, it's, it's something that is, will be prevalent for, for, for decades to come. But uh, I'm happy to say that even uh, according to the Pew uh, Foundation study on, uh, annual study on anti-Semitism, we find that Ukraine scores uh, the lowest among, most, um, among all European uh, countries. So I think that there is uh, some, uh, some positive uh, success in, in sort of inter-community uh, inter relations in Ukraine. What, what are the lessons that we as Europeans have to learn from the Baba Yar massacre? Well, I think that uh, the main lesson is to uh, educate people, especially young people who have very little idea about the atrocities that happened during the war and the Nazi occupation, uh, so that they are sensitive to all kinds of uh, unhealthy or nasty behavior that springs up uh, here and there in, in the whole world and in Europe uh, specifically. So the people should know that words can kill, even if some with some delay. So the, the remembrance of Babi Yar is like a big lesson for Ukrainian youth, but also for the Europeans. Uh, which, unfortunately, we seem to be forgetting from time to time. What would you like to see done about this? How would you like to see Europe respond and maybe respond more proactively in terms of uh, addressing these issues? Well, the world is changing and we have now... Uh, uh, different kinds of uh, intolerance or even hatred against other people. Jewish, I mean, hatred against the Jews was there in Europe for centuries and culminated in the 20th century. We have now, you know, people hating aliens generally people coming to Europe for better life. Uh, so let, 
let this remembrance of uh, Holocaust and other massacre venues uh, be like a lesson to behave properly against every every kind of aliens every you know we we have to be open as, as we used to be in the last few decades this is the strength of europe if we forget about it we become weaker we become un-european <laughs>